Okay, guys, and back, and this is Rivera's uh, Rivera from Rivera Place, and I decided to walk to where the next quest would be, and it's right here, and I just have to pick up certain things, kill certain things, and also I just noticed I picked up the repeatable quest again, which is this uh, quest right here for the saber tooths, which are really freaking annoying to kill. Um, so I'm just gonna abandon that one. We already did it. <coughs> we don't need to do it anymore. I <coughs> I ended up dropping the volume of the game again. I think I dropped it a little bit too much. Uh, it was the SFX, the, the effects, whatever. The things, when you attack, the sound it, it does when you attack, it was just way too loud. So I had to drop it a little bit ended up dropping it way too much so let's put it up again like about there should be okay uh, that's a little bit too low I already put it down on the normal on the volume of the computer so I guess I can leave it all the way up um, so yeah I noticed it was a little bit too loud so I hope it's at a great uh, range right now and uh, here all we had to do is just kill those dwarfs and collect the cloud mushrooms. Um, don't really know why they make you collect the cloud mushrooms instead of giving you um, like a quest for collecting like actual collectibles from the ground like mine and stuff. I mean it would be much better for the player that way the player would get the levels. And you know finish that quest that it needs to finish. I know that a lot of people would be um, grabbing these items as they go and they would have to wait for the respawn having the respawn going uh, having the the respawn too high and then you would have people farming that area uh, but I mean it's the lower levels nobody cares and maybe it's, it would be uh, exploitable so maybe maybe giving you levels for it maybe just actually grabbing one of them would be enough like Grabbing two of each, two minerals, two herbs would be enough for the quest, you know, to to be not hard enough, but just good enough. <laughs> but it's just a way for the uh, having the player also level up your mining and, and herb gathering skills. I think, uh, okay, I'm, I'm still saying ah, which I'm trying to avoid, but I, I still think... Um, Wow, uh, wow, just wow, just wow. <laughs> I think that the gathering is almost, it, it's important, I guess. It could give you money, you know, if you ever just focus on that. But it doesn't seem to be way to, I'm going to let the video roll and I'm going to let you guys hear this. Unicorn Sarabi was the purest. Oh, look at those graphics. <laughs> it took a, a long time to load. Against us. If you can save Sarabi, we can purify our forest. If you can't, die, fairy, die. Will ever be safe. So, um, yeah, it's one of the cinematics. They're not too bad. They're not too good. They're not great. Some of them are not great. Some of them are pretty good. Like the devil from the cave. That was really... Oh, what? All that motion just to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can... I think I can cancel the intro animation of the skill if I attack first. So let's try that. No, I guess I can't. I'll, I'll keep trying it because I think I used number two. I'll check it out on the video as well after I'm done. But I think I used... Uh, I know that the number three uses no animation. Come on, just just get stuck. Get stuck. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with you and the other guy. The same time. Oh, there you go. This one is ah uh, uh, almost. There. You, okay, this guy I can. I know when he's about to attack. I know it, and I know when the tiger is about. The tiger, lion. This one's. Oh my God! Look at look at those saber tooths. Look at those damn saber tooths. Holy crap! That that looks awesome. It remembers me to a summon, but before I get into that, 
Uh, yeah, I was talking about this kill and I was talking about something else. It was the, um, the gathering. I don't think the gathering is... It, it doesn't have an intricate system. That's the, that's what I wanted to say. It doesn't have like a an, an interesting intricate system where it's like, oh, the gathering works, works this way and that way and it's... Wow! Yes! If we do it at the second attack... I'm done with gathering. It doesn't do a... Um, it's either the third or the second attack. It doesn't do the intro animation for the skill, which is awesome. It's one, two, and... There you go! I, it's, I think it's after the third. Two... Three... Well, it does... It does... A, the intro animation for the third attack is almost the same as the intro animation for the second. So let's see if after the second attack... Um, okay, let's kill this Fragus, because I need to kill him. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I know they are your servants and slaves, but... I need them to finish the quest. Okay. I, oh no, that's declaration. <laughs> I was about to press number five, but that is a declaration of uh, four. Ooh, damn! Not in time. Okay. Okay. What is he doing? Oh, because he's hitting me with the legs. Okay. But I guess he was not. He's not close enough to enough to hit me with it. So what I want to try now is uh, check out the third attack. One, two, and three. And then... Oh no! I missed it! One, two, three. And then... Oh yes! It works! It definitely cancels the intro animation for the... For the... Not the second attack. The, the number two on my skill slide. I don't know how I've been calling it, but it does cancel the intro animation for that skill. So that's pretty cool. One, two, three, and then boom, boom, boom. That's pretty cool. That that gives me an extra attack, plus it makes the skill go much quicker. I like this kind of stuff. So you see, this is a really good action-based game. This is a game that if you like action games, you should definitely get. And this is where I have my Twin Blade or Slayer or... Ha I know it's not the Slayer. The Slayer is the Great Sword guy. Um, ah, I thought I picked up the quest. Already. Okay. Oh, and here we have another killer. <laughs> um, this is where you get the... Um, how can I say this? Um, Okay, this is, uh, the Slayer is the Great Sword guy, I completely lost, uh, memory of what I was saying. So, and, uh, this is where I left my, I think it's called Twin Slayer, Twin Blade, something like that. So yeah, there used to be only one of these mobs, and it used to be much harder to kill it. It used to be an a like an actual mini boss. I actually like to kill this guy because you know it was hard and uh, God damn it. Why you take so long to use your fucking Skill I was going to say a stack because I wanted to say skill and attack at the same time But um, Yeah, it took too long and I was like, okay, I'm I better dodge I guess and then that motherfucker did that and uh, I think I can do it this. Yeah, I can do it that way too. Okay. Um, okay. Quest. Quest. That is a repeatable quest, I'm pretty sure. But end the suffering of the sullen. But that's the first time I get it, so I should be okay. That's because I think when it's repeatable, it's ten. Uh, I just uh, checked that out from the other quest I was doing for the Saber Tooth. When it was not repeatable, I mean, when it was the first time I did it, it was 7. When I did it a second time, it went up to 10. I wonder if you can just skip this quest, because I'm only interested in... I mean, I don't like grinding that much. Okay, there you go. Really hard to know, but I guess he goes up before he attacks. So I'm gonna follow that. I'm gonna follow on that. I know he when he charges. I'm pretty sure he's one of those. He charges up and then he throws like a 
he becomes more like enraged. He starts attacking you even more, and he uses a wrench attack as well. I'm pretty sure, but it's not doing it now, so maybe I'm wrong. Okay, that was not hard. So here we go, and we only have one fucking horn. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna start uh, doing this, where I just pick them up, cause because it's just gonna make my life easier if I just pick them up like this and tell him hey why don't you come over here and play with me because he will be awesome but then there's one of them that doesn't want to play with me and that's not awesome look he's all the way over there <laughs> and we are all the way over here what an asshole huh look at these bitches they're just <laughs> oh my god they're going all over the place Come on, freaking fairies. Can I attack them all at once? It's just, it's, it is quite sad. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. There you go. I got him. I got him, son. Ah, oh, come on, don't leave. Motherfuckers. Okay, let's do this. And there you go. So yeah, this will take a while much longer than I expected and I forgot to put my timer on for the video so give me a sec uh, I'm gonna put it right there there you go so I know I'm pretty sure we have like six minutes going on put 18 minutes normally I put 20 but I forgot last time as well <laughs> so I had to drop it a little bit see if I could get it where uh, at the end it would be 20 but as I said I'm planning on doing 30 30 minute videos now because uh, Terra is just it takes a bit of bit of time to get this quest going and I really want to avoid editing but I might have to edit some things so I might start doing that later on and I'm saying might quite a lot of times which could get annoying even to me uh, so let's Turn in the quest. Aha! I said it. I said it nicely this time. I said it. Turn in, not turn out. Uh, I did equip certain things uh, off camera, and now she looks a little bit different. You can still see her ass though, if you're interested in that. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, there you see. That's a repeatable quest. Um, but at the beginning, I think it doesn't show as a repeatable quest. So. That, that, that's one of the reasons I just finished it. I'll, I'll pay more attention to that though. So I think we have to escort this. So they can... Uh... Ah, You see, they keep switching them. They keep switching the, the quests. I remember you had to escort uh, a unicorn. Uh, unicorn. <laughs> One of those things, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce it very well, I guess. Um, it sounded weird when I said it, but anyway, at least that's what I think. Um, but you had to escort one of them. I'm, I'm so sure of that. You had to escort one of them. Animals would attack him. And all you had to do was just uh, kill them before they killed your unicorn. I think it was a bit annoying. Maybe there were too many animals around, too many spawns going on, so they took it away again. I don't like that. I mean, it just... Look look how... That would be a bit of fun because, you know, it would be a bit harder to do. That's one of the things I dislike about the games nowadays. They make everything too easy. Which is why I like hardcore games so much. The hardcore games frustrate you. It was straight the hell out of you, but they're fun Cause, because uh, I'm trying to stop saying cuz as well It just it's just not as easy when when you when you do something that was hard to do you feel rewarded you you, you feel that finishing it was um, As good as a reward 
like accomplishing accomplishing it uh, re finishing it is you feel accomplished there you go that's the word i was looking for not a reward uh, uh, you feel accomplished that's 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 good that's one of the things i like about hardcore games that's why ah i forgot it was number two um when i when i uh play a game in hardcore mode and then i finish this quest i finish this uh uh, mission, whatever it is, or when I'm playing Tales of My Y'all, which is called Tome, T O M E, and it's a ro roguelike game. And I finished this uh, achievement. Achievements normally are just quests, so when you finish the quest, they give you an, an achievement at the end for uh, finishing that quest, getting a another race unlocked, and getting other stuff unlocked. And uh, roguelike is if you die you die and you have to start all over again with another character it's it's a very punishing thing but when you are done like you're like wow I did this I've not finished the game <laughs> but I, I've gotten pretty far I've done what I wanted I've experienced a lot of stuff that were pretty cool I died a bunch of times in the most annoying ways but you know it felt good to go through those places again and then being more knowledgeable about what can happen no damn you being more knowledgeable about what can happen and oh no damn it he keeps jumping on me uh about what can happen and how to deal with it and now you know i'm much better at it and it just feels awesome every time i come on come on and then yeah there you go okay he's gonna roll now and um, what can, what can I say? Uh, I said um again. Not cool. It just feels nice. Feels awesome to know that you're beating this hard thing. Hard thing. That 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 sounds good. Um, that this hard level, this very hard level. And if you die, you lose everything. You just lose everything. That you know you've accomplished all your items that you've grind so much for I mean it's not much like a grinding fest because oh my god that dude looks amazing I don't remember this dude but I, I kinda do like that I remember his tiger face that I remember fuck you fairies just die um it just you know you feel accomplished you feel like nice I did it and I keep losing my train of thought uh, but okay, let me finish that conversation. I guess I'm not done yet. I something. Yeah, that was like a saber too. That, I guess that's why I remember it because it looks like one of them. Um. Yeah, stop saying um. Uh, if I could do that, that would be awesome. And uh, wow. Uh, yeah. That's. <laughs> I keep saying it. Keep repeating it. That's that's what I do when I don't know what to say, guys. That's what I do when I can't remember what I was saying as well, so. I guess you guys kind of want to have to deal with that. And myself, because I'm going to be watching this most likely when I'm, you know, years in the future. Be like, oh, yeah, I did this. And it was so bad and terrible that nobody watched it. And, you know, roguelikes are amazing for that reason that I've already mentioned several times. So I don't want to repeat it one more, uh, once more. Um, that's gonna be hard to take off my dialect. It, it's just good to learn, um, ah, ah, to learn the ins and outs of of a certain thing. And it would have been good to learn the ins and outs of. How to carry that unicorn, you know, all the way to where I need to. To most likely, I needed to carry him to the fairies, cause the fairies were the ones asking for for that thing. Like they wanted, I guess, to cure it or so, for sorts. But I mean, it, it, it doesn't like okay. All you had to do was that, so that it would be easier and you could move on. But it would be a lot of fun to also just try and do that quest. Ah, oh, come on! 
You're a bad mop. You're you're a bad bad mop. There you go. Nicely done. Sometimes it seems to me though, like uh, the jump. Uh, the, the the jump it just I guess goes over, so it it doesn't count as a front attack. It counts as an up, left, and right maybe attack. And that way, sometimes it goes through the defense. I, I don't know if everyone has noticed that. Kind of kind of weird, but kind of cool that some attacks, you know, some attacks from uh, players, PvP players could use that to an advantage, you know, as a, 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 to go against, when going against a lancer. It, it sounds like it would be a lot of fun to just try certain skills out on a lancer to see if they go as overhead, so to speak, and therefore would be considered maybe as a back attack or sorts. So this dude took this guy, but I need this guy, so I'll just kill him. I didn't took all of them. I mean, they came back for me, so <laughs> I didn't want it to be such a douchebag, but you know, I ended up being such a douchebag. So yeah, there are characters that are pretty good at uh, mobbing. They're much better than than this character, and they get to go through these areas much quicker. Maybe I'm a really, I have a character that is really good at mobbing, and I have just haven't noticed yet. Maybe. <laughs> but I don't don't know that I wouldn't think so it doesn't I mean, it looks like it could be but it doesn't seem to deal the damage I wanted to deal I did try and fail because the unicorns have a really weird pathing it seems like they're running away from you and then they go at you for one attack and then they run away from you again I believe it's because they do charge up so they run away until they charge up and then they actually go at you with more strength. So you see, there's someone attacking and she's a PvP girl. Oh. <laughs> I think she wants to kill me, baby. What if I kill her? <laughs> I just wanted to annoy her <laughs> so she couldn't do that. <laughs> I hope she doesn't go for me. I don't want to fight her. I just wanted to annoy the shit out of her. I'm a mean, I'm a bad person. I'm such a bad person. Well, I guess next time I won't do that. That was very annoying. But she's PvP. She's, she's marked as a PvP. Like she wants to fight other people, so. Her fault, right? It's not my fault. She could have taken that up, but no. She wants to keep that up. She wants to kill people. So it's better to kill people than want to kill people. I think. I think. <clears throat> Where is she? Uh oh. I don't like this, dude. Take too long to kill. I want to know where she is, though. <laughs> I don't want her ganking on me. If she might. Okay, she's not on the back. I thought she was for a moment. Damn you, son! Ah. Okay, so that's why they're easy to kill. But they're really annoying. I remember with that with a mystique. Oh, yeah, that's because I have a tank, though. I um. The Mystique is like a summoner and he summons uh, a sort of tank that helps him quite a lot on the game. So, Mystiques is, if, if you're really into summons, you might want to check out the Mystiques. They're really, really cool in that sense, you know. You get to summon stuff and at least I, I like that shit. I, I love that shit to summon things. But since the mystic was really high level, I decided just to leave it there and not do anything with it. And oh, okay, I thought last time I thought that person uh, was attacking me with a blizzard attack, but it's just that they have a piercing blizzard attack, and it goes all the way through you. 
thought she was attacking me from the back because of that. Uh, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Uh, it was about... I don't know. <laughs> I can't really remember what I was talking about. Must have been no gathering which I talked about a while ago. Okay, here he comes again. And here we go again. Um, I was talking about... I remember when I was coming here, but I don't remember what I was talking about. That's, that's not cool. <clears throat> I really, really have bad memory. But let's talk. Let's talk about games. Let's talk about games. Let's talk about. Oh, I was talking about hardcore stuff. Yeah, how hardcore is better, and that's why I play PvP. Cause it 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 does add that um dangerous feeling of roguelike hardcore thing. Like you could die any moment, not only from mobs, but from anything. Makes it feel much better, much harder, much. I don't know that word is connected to so many sex jokes that it just doesn't feel right to say it anymore. No, nah, I wanted to do this. Okay, there you go. Um, <clears throat> sorry about the cleaning my throat thing quite a bunch of times. It's just uh, I don't know. I'm not sick. It's just it's just there. It's just there. I had to do that. I guess. Oh no! No! <laughs> Just kill this guy and get out of here, I guess. Yep, just kill this guy and get out of here. I don't need to kill any of you anymore. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm gonna keep trying to not say it, but it's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna work this out together like a team of people doing a mission of sorts. A mission where I need to stop saying, um. So. The roguelike thing. Yes, yes, yes. I think I've already talked about that enough. That's why I went for PvP servers. It just makes it feel you make you feel more accomplished. Plus, you can PvP anytime, whenever you want. You can even PvP against mean people. It's also good, which I, I think this is cool to mention. The fact that there's good people, so to speak, you know, there's good and bad in the game. There's annoying douchebags and there are like the good justice, justicers. <laughs> the good and and uh, justice driven people. Because as as much as PB PK or P, P, PK people exist in this world, <laughs> as, as, my, as many as PK characters there are, I think as many as uh, knights, so to speak, there are as well. There, you would see a level 65 uh, killing noobs for no reason at all, no reason whatsoever. And I don't know where you would see a group of uh, level 65, level 70 people just coming over to help the noobs that are being killed by this person. It's it's fun. It's fun to watch. It makes the world much more. Uh, much more you see how I stop with the arm there ah ah I'm remembering uh, the, um, I did something like um but a little bit different there the, the it, it, it helps the war feel more alive I guess which is something I mentioned because someone else mentioned this in a video and it's something that I actually take him more in account now is that the worlds need to feel alive and that is true man when they do they feel so much better as you're going through them and I completely forgot that, uh, that I should have stopped there and switched to my slayer but I guess I'll continue on with the Lancer and then if I feel like I don't like this anymore it feels too static still then I'll, I'll just switch to the twin, twin, uh, I believe it's twin blades. Don't really know how it's called though, so don't quote me on that one. Let's try out the new skills though. This is outlaw declaration, of course. Of course, as I said before. Let's use uh, a bandage. This one looks pretty cool. It's, uh, come on, give me the information thingy. Recovers 
3550 HP and 750 resolve. Holy crap! Really? It's an instant cast and the cooldown is 2 minutes. Huh. The Lancers have a heal. That's pretty weird. But it's considered. <coughs> it's not. I guess it's not considered a magic. It's considered more like a. Just like uh, a physical ability. Because it's called Second Wind. So. That's pretty cool, you know. The, the fact that you know the Lancer is not a magic caster. And, and so his skill is called Second Wind. Where you just like recover all your strength physically and just keep going one more time one more time uh... i think the video should be ending up right about now let's go back to lumber town and by the time we and when we get there when we get there we're gonna stop the video but what can i talk about while we go there talk about hardcore games roguelike and yeah, 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 the reason I like Tibia, the reason I like RPGMO, the reason I like so many frustrating, uh, frustrating and non desirable, <laughs> I guess, games, it's because they are hard to, to go through. But yes, this is something I can talk about while we, go, while, while we get there. There is just plain, uh, the plain. There's challenging, and then there's just punishing. Challenging is okay. Punishing to a certain stang extent is okay. But there are games that are just like, we just want to make this feel hard to, to go through. We don't want to give you an experience with it. Like, we don't, we are not here to build, uh, to build this level as a good experience, uh, something where you have to strategize and, and luck is not the only factor that we'll have to... I'm just following the road <laughs> uh, on the map, I, I don't know, I found that quite more interesting. But it, it, they don't develop that uh, interesting thing on the level where being challenging and being punishing is, is, is something that actually feels great in it, because it's hard, you could say it's challenging and punishing. But sometimes it's hard, and it, it doesn't feel and challenging and punishing and all of that. But it doesn't feel like it all connects. Like I was playing a game. This game is uh, Space Marines. Space Marines Warhammer 40k. Space Marines. Space Marines. Warhammer Space Marines. Yeah, that one. It. Hardcore. I went for hardcore. I was like, no, I want to have experience with this, where where I feel like I'm 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 doing something. I'm being challenged, and I was being challenged. But the, sometimes the challenge was it was not that the challenge was way too much. It was, well, yeah, I guess you could say the challenge was just way too much. But it was not well done. It was it didn't felt like I was doing something that. You need my help was you know strategize as such I, I ended up doing things that felt more like an exploit because to go through that challenge I would have to exploit the situation and and that's when when the the challenging just become not really a challenge it just become something annoying that they made it really hard to pass just because they didn't know how to make it actually a challenge. I ex I hope that you guys understand what I said there. And let me... I want to finish the videos like this every time. So let me look for this thing, which I know is not here. So I guess I'll just end it here, guys. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope you have a great day. Um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.